hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my statistics and everything that I put into my common application when I applied to Northwestern. I've been asked a few times how I got into Northwestern, so hopefully this video will be helpful to rising high school seniors who are thinking about applying to Northwestern. My GPA in high school weighted was 4.26, which I think is pretty low by Northwestern standards. I think the reason that my GPA is a little bit low is because I took a lot of non-weighted classes like wind ensemble, choir, and theater. If I had not taken those classes at all and just taken a free period, my GPA would have been a lot higher, but I don't regret taking those classes at all because I learned a lot in them and I enjoy them a lot. I think the rigor of your course load is also really important, so I'm going to share all of the weighted classes that I can remember taking. Freshman year, I took Accelerated Algebra 2. That was the only weighted class that freshmen could take at my high school. My sophomore year, I took Accelerated Pre-Calc slash Calc AB, which was a one-year course that combined trig and prepared students for the AP Calculus exam. That year, I also took AP World History. My junior year in high school, I took Multivariable Calculus. That was the name of the class, but it also covered Calc BC. I believe I was in Excel English as well that year, and I took AP Environmental Science. My senior year, I took AP Economics. AP Psychology, AP Music Theory, and a class called Advanced Topics in Mathematics. It is a survey course that was only offered by my high school, and it was for students who had already finished the calculus sequence, and we surveyed topics including number theory, linear algebra, and other advanced math topics that you find in college. Those are all the weighted classes I can remember taking. And now onto my test scores. Since I just mentioned all the AP classes I took, I will now share the scores that I got on all the AP exams. On both calculus exams, I earned fives and I made a video a few weeks ago about how I passed both, both of those exams. So if you are considering taking that class, I suggest watching that video. I got fives on AP macroeconomics and microeconomics. I also got a five on psychology. Those were all the fives that I got. Those were the only scores I submitted to Northwestern. In music theory, I got a four. I got a five on the non-oral part and a four on the oral part. I got a four on the AP environmental exam and a three on AP world history. I do not like history. <laughs> I also submitted subject test scores with my Northwestern application. On the Math 2 subject test, I got a 790, and I do not remember whether or not I submitted my history test score. I don't think I did because it's not that high, but I was able to log into College Board all these years later and see all my scores, so I know that when I took the World History subject test, I got a 720. And then I took the old SAT, which was out of 2400 points. I was probably the last class to take this version of the SAT, now it's out of 1600 I think and so my score out of 2400 was 2310. I got an 800 on math, 780 in writing, and 730 in reading and this is my super score. Northwestern super score is the SAT. To get this super score I took the exam twice, once in May 2015 and the second time in October 2015. And now on to extracurriculars. So I was not able to log back into my common application. So these are all the extracurriculars that I remember doing. I feel like there were more, but this is all I have. I took weekly flute and piano lessons all throughout high school. I was in an orchestra outside of school for my sophomore year. It was pretty selective and competitive to get in. When I was part of that orchestra, we got to tour the United Kingdom, which was really exciting and fun. The following year, I decided to choose another orchestra, and so I was part of a smaller, less prestigious chamber orchestra during my third year in high school, and the reason I decided to do that was because I was able to be principal flute in that ensemble, and I would not have had the opportunity to do that in the better orchestra. Both were really great experiences. When I was in the smaller orchestra, I got to be the soloist in a concerto, which was very nerve-wracking. <laughs> I don't think I put this in my application, but I played volleyball for the first two years of high school. I was really, really bad, and so I quit after two years. Over the summers, I did two music camps. The first one was 
the Eastern US Music Camp in New York, and that was just a general music program. I played flute there primarily in their ensembles. I also played piano a little bit, and I got to take some theory classes and composition classes, which were very fun. The following summer, I went to North Carolina. I was at the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, participating in a composition workshop, and that is where I wrote most of the pieces that I put into my Beanin application, which I will be talking about in another video, in which I will share everything that I submitted in my Beanin portfolio, as well as the musical audition that I submitted and the essay that I had to write. So those were all of my non-academic extracurriculars. I was also an academic decathlon team captain for one year, and in the three years before that, I believe I was just a member. Maybe I was just a member for actually two years. I don't remember. But I did that for a couple of years, and I won a few awards in music theory. I was also on my school's JCL team. I had a pretty big role in that club by the time I was an upperclassman. If you're not familiar with JCL, it stands for Junior Classical League, and it's basically a Latin club. I took Latin for three years in school. Those are all the cold, hard statistics of what was literally in my application. If you want to see what I put in the essays, I will link the videos in which I read my essays below. If you have any other questions that are related to college or Northwestern, please feel free to ask in the comments. I love answering questions. And one last piece of advice I wanted to give before I end this video. When I was in high school I attended some college counseling meeting someone asked should I go for the non-weighted math class and get an A in it or will it look better if I go with a more rigorous accelerated math class but I'm not able to get an A and maybe I get a B plus which do colleges prefer and I love the college counselors answer to this he said that is a trick question and the answer is colleges are going to prefer the student who gets the A in the weighted class. I think there's definitely a lot of truth in that statement, but also don't kill yourself taking a ton of crazy hard classes. I was taking plenty of easy A's in high school as well. Yeah, but I just wanted to share that piece of advice from my high school college counselor because I thought that was a great answer to a really common question. So if this video was helpful, please like and comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next video in which I will be sharing my Beanin specific application. I entered as a dual degree student, so I was accepted to Weinberg and Beanin. So if you are curious about that, subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!